South Carolina is known for its iconic green spaces, including Falls Park on the uh, Reedy and also Snack Dab in the middle of downtown. And now you're going to think a new urban green space has opened up on the south side of town. That pays homage to the area's past while planning for a more inclusive future. So let's chat about it. we got uh, senior landscape architect for the city of Greenville, uh, Barrett Armstrong. What's up, Barrett? Thanks for being with us. So, you know, you got this. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, man. So glad to talk to you. Um, just kind of looking at the overall idea here. You got a 60 acre Unity Park opened up back in May, which is just a short walk from downtown. Kind of break down how this is all going to be working for a better sustainable future. Sure. So initially, this site actually was the public works facility uh, before construction of the park. And with that, we had a lot of impervious surfaces, a lot of parking lots and things like that. And so uh, for the first year of construction, the bulk of the work was actually just cleaning up the site and amending the soils to make it uh, a lot more suitable to filter storm water. Um, the Reedy River actually runs right through this site. And so uh, the bulk of the environmental design focused on filtering uh, storm water runoff before it hits the river. Uh, so we've got a lot of sandy swells out here that act as kind of a giant sponge. Uh, in all of our parking lots, we actually have bias whales that filter all that runoff coming out of, off of the parking lot before it hits the river. And uh, yeah, the city really took kind of an innovative approach and really wanted to use this park as kind of a showcase for all of the best management practices. And it's also really, you know, healing, yeah, I would say this park is, but also representing the future of the city. How would you say it represents what's to come for Greenville? So obviously being named Unity Park, a big focus was on uh, kind of equity and uh, giving back to the community where this park is located. And so it's really a statement for this community that um, really want to invest in public space, uh, specifically for the residents of Greenville. So as you can see, as you walk through the, uh, the playground and everything like that, there is a really great amount of diversity and a lot of folks uh, from the, the immediate neighborhood, but also folks from the uh, kind of larger Greenville community that come here. And it really has been a, a very inclusive park uh, that makes everybody feel welcome. We can hear everyone being very happy about it. Well, yeah, too. Well, having a great time. Having a great time. Yeah, I'm always curious about the planning process and you think like, oh, okay, why, why aren't more people doing this? Is it harder to go about the thought process and the planning and actually getting everything to go into this direction? Would it have been easier to go with, with an older style method or do you think it was just kind of sixes? Um, I think it was certainly a battle to get everybody on board, but now that everybody sees the benefits and sees uh, that you can have public space that, that is um, environmentally sustainable, but also is a really great amenity for uh, neighborhood residents. You know, people are starting to come around to that idea that, that everything kind of can go into this park and, and it can be multifaceted in that regard. Uh, so obviously it was a challenge to, to acquire this space so close to uh, downtown and, and obviously Greenville growing like it is, there's a lot of development pressure. And so it was a really, really big undertaking to make sure that we reserve this space. Uh, for the community. Yeah. What is the one thing you want people to know about Unity Park? What, what would you say is maybe the top one or two most important parts about it? So first and foremost, obviously, right now, I said, for the residents of Greenville, um, we had several community engagement events where we heard from folks that live in the southern side neighborhood, and so that played a major programming of the park and so everything that you see in the park were requests from the southern side community um, so it's it's for the residents of Greenville and then second it, I think it signals a new approach to how we treat the river and um, obviously Falls Park downtown is a, a huge success um, but I think there's another component that we're layering in here where we're actually taking cleaning up the environment very seriously welcome to life
TV, Barrett. Don't, don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. It's live TV. It just it happens, I tell you. No, uh, no ba- control of the train no, schedule here. Barrett Armstrong, senior landscape architect for the city of Greenville. Don't worry, we got enough information and we can hear you fine cool. uh, talking about it. I love that they had input from, you know, residents sense, there. Yeah. yeah. And I was, you know, I was thinking about this too. Like, well, let's just start going this way. And if we're going to build a new park, let's have this conversation. Yeah. You know, and I think more and more places are doing it. So that's, that's pretty cool. All right. For more stories like